Hello there, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to your weekly reading for August 7th to the 13th. We are getting you a number that Spirit will be highlighting for you this week. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media, wherever you see digits. And your number is number 23. Some of you could also have been born on this day. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. This card says, I am adventurous. You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. All right, so some of you may be getting some much needed stimulation this week. Some of you may have found yourself bored or uninterested with certain things, but there's definitely a love and lust for life coming back in to your energy this week, Scorpio. So some of you may definitely be receiving some offers or doing some things that are out of the ordinary or out of your wheelhouse or just things that you haven't done before. Let's see what your tea leaf predict predictions are for the week. And you have the tower, a solid foundation, success with effort. You also have the eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. And Scorpio, you also have the sun, happiness and well-being. All right, so Spirit is giving you a strong message here this week that you will be getting over a lot of bumps in the road. Some of you may have found yourself dealing with a lot of difficulty in certain areas of your life, possibly your foundation, possibly your foundation with home, with work, with self. But Spirit is really showing that there is going to be a brighter energy for you to work with this week. Happiness and well-being with the sun. Um, some of you may have Leo energy in your chart or around you. There also could be a symbolic energy towards an eagle, a tower. But I feel like for a lot of you Scorpios, intuitively, I'm feeling that there is going to be a new situation that comes in that restores your happiness and makes you feel a lot more secure within yourself. So let's see what your tarot spread is and then we will look into your love life. And you have the eight of cups, the judgment card, and the tower. That's your energy Scorpio. Your possible challenge for the week is the ace of cups. And your outcome is the moon. All right, so it definitely looks like you are going to be coming face to face with opening up your heart here, Scorpio. No wonder why you have I am adventurous. Um, there's something good coming your way or there is some sort of surprising positive energy or love coming your way. But I feel like you may have a little bit of a hard time with connecting to your heart at the moment. Um, with the Eight of Cups here, this definitely could be that you are restoring love with somebody that there was a separation with, or you may be moving on still, or still letting go of certain things, and love is coming your way, or somebody that wants to offer you kindness and care, and I feel like for some of you with the moon as your outcome, there is a sense of uncertainty in opening up your heart, and your challenge this week is opening up your heart with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio. So some of you may be feeling a bit of a stronger or tougher exterior, or maybe some of you are really not that emotional or emotionally connected or feel the need to be. So we have two flyers coming in. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So I do feel like you are still working on your stability, and that could be why you do have love at an arm's length. But we have the eight of wands here. So something is taking off for you in love. Something is really turning around where there is somebody who really cares for you, wants to show you that they care. Um, some of you may require you to communicate more and that could be something you may be more of a quiet person or you may keep more to yourself. With the tower here, we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so definitely could be surprise love coming your way. Ace of Cups as your challenge with the Ten of Cups and the Moon with your outcome to the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you ultimately avoid emotions when you're in situations that involve emotions. And um, I feel like there's a lover coming your way. 
or there's some love that could be a little bit hard for you to resist here where you would normally resist it with the moon to the seven of swords. So very interesting spread here for you, Scorpio. It looks like your adventure is being more open hearted and lovable and letting kind of love take you somewhere and letting your emotions flow opposed to naturally or normally feeling the need to fight it. It's like giving a don't fight love sort of feeling. Ten of cups here. Some of you may feel like you still need to be more stable in the home or family life or something along those lines that could have to do with feeling like you have everything together or feeling like you have everything taken care of in life. Um, Queen of Pentacles to the Page of Cups, Eight of Wands to the Three of Wands, Knight of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles, Challenge here with the King of Swords, and the Seven of Swords to the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so you're being guided to open up to a person here that wants to put effort on this connection and effort on how they feel about you. It could be somebody that feels very emotionally connected to you. I feel like it's romantic. Some of you, it could be, you know... You know, when you, you could be that person that isn't much of like, you know, when it's that common sort of thing you see as well, that person who's like really into hugs, hugging somebody that's not really into hugs because they're not naturally a hugger. You could be this person here, Scorpio, that's not like naturally the hugger, but this person wants to hug you um, type of thing. Um, that's like the best way I can explain this energy. You could be, it could be opposite as well for some of you. You may be that energy that is the hugger and trying to gain the hugging attention from another. But I feel like it's ultimately the other way around. But for some of you, it could vice versa be resonating. You know, that is a possibility. So I feel like for a lot of you, you are going to break through this and give this person a chance or give your emotion a chance. Um, your... Flyer for your love is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yeah, this person wants you, Scorpio, or they want things to be more positive with you, more mm, like connecting with you. And we have let go of control issues. Yeah, I feel like you are trying to control the amount of emotion you give this person instead of like naturally letting it flow. So I feel like this is a love reading for you, Scorpio. I still will get out the love tarot. I'm sorry, the Oracle to connect more of this. But somebody really wants to love you here. Let's see what we have. Um, we have Pisces energy, Scorpio energy coming in. But your challenge is really letting logic take a back seat and letting your heart navigate through this. So let's see, you have patience, you have third party, and you have refocus. So some of you, you've just been focusing on work, on just other things and not love. Or just, you may have felt like this person wasn't focusing on you and focusing on other people. We have recognition, pride and ego, and mute. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you with patience and recognition, this is going to be the attention that it wants to melt your heart. It wants to compromise with you. It wants to find harmony. It wants to connect with you. It wants to have that heart to heart. And I feel like ultimately there's a not allowing it energy here, but it's going to come in. Observer, divine masculine and fresh start. Yeah. So I feel like for a lot of you Scorpios, you may find yourself more open to seeing how it feels to feel <laughs> basically. Or somebody may be doing that towards you, if this is vice versa. So, let's see what your ending oracle is for the week, Scorpio. Where is the deck? Alright, so Scorpio, we are going to get you a mermaid as your ending oracle. So, let's see what you got. This is for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. All right, you have the future. All right, I'm going to read this interpretation from the book. The future coming through for Scorpio. 
This card says, gazing intently into the future, this mermaid says, says you can see potential outcomes from your pe present vantage point. However, this isn't the full picture, and it's changeable. Change your viewpoint to influence the future. Remember that, like water, the future is fluid and always changing according to your current actions and thoughts. If you're feeling fat, sad or depressed, times ahead will be colored by this state of mind, making everything seem bleak. The good news is that by adapting a more positive mindset, the future can appear golden and full of possibilities. The future card also asks you to claim your ability to see into situations on a spiritual level. Your gift of insight is heightened right now. Use the ability for yourself and others and for the highest good of all. From this favorable position, you can see clearly how your outlook and inner dialogue directly have an influence over your future. Similarly, if you've heard of the butterfly effect, the theory of how the simple flap of a butterfly's wings can have far-reaching consequences around the world, you'll be aware that changing just one thought or action can have a direct impact on the future. Yes, Scorpio. So, beautifully connecting together with that ending oracle. So thank you for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. We are active once again back on this channel. So do subscribe and ring the bell to all so you are alerted of when a new Scorpio reading gets released. And do not forget to like this video so we can connect to more amazing Scorpios just like yourself. And I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Have a good one. Bye now.